Hey, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer. Thank you for tuning into this video. The coronavirus is killing people and it's getting worse. It's spreading like wildfire. Today, I have an article that's extremely important to go over and that's why I had to make a video over it. It's a new study that shares an eye-opening experience on how the coronavirus is spreading and also how little we know about it. This isn't just in China. This isn't just a couple of cities. This is on a worldwide global spectrum now and it's spreading faster than ever. So anyway, with that said, the link will be in the description, and let's jump into it. A study published Friday in the medical journal of the JAMA found that 41% of the first 138 patients diagnosed at one hospital in Wuhan, China, were presumed to be infected in that hospital. Now, let me repeat that, because it took me a second to, to let that sink in. 41% of the first 138 patients diagnosed at one hospital were presumed to be infected. This is big news. In plain English, it means that nearly half of the initial infections in the hospital appear to have been spread within the hospital itself. This is called nosocomial transmission. Doctors use big words to hide bad things. Nosocomial means caught in the hospital. What's more, most spread doesn't appear to have been the result of a so-called super spreader event in which a single patient transmits infection to many other people. In these events, a procedure such as bronchoscopy, where a doctor inserts a tube into the patient's lungs, can result in many infections. This would be a concern but not nearly as much as what appears to have happened. Many healthcare workers and many patients got infected in many parts of the hospital. What's more, since there's a broad spectrum of infection and only patients who were sick were tested, it's quite likely that there was even more transmission in the hospital. So like SARS and MERS, other coronaviruses, before it was the Wuhan coronavirus, it's spreading in hospitals. So what does this mean? Because that's a lot of information given in a very, you know, short period. And a lot has happened in a very short period. We, not, we don't only see the coronavirus killing people. It's hurting stock markets. It's hurting the precious metals markets. It's hurting everything. It's, it's like this wildfire that we cannot put out, and it's killing people. And now everyone's in this, this frenzy, this, this geopolitical fear, this, this state, this mind state that they're going to get it or their loved ones, and what if it comes into their hometown, and, and it's crazy. But what does this mean? The virus appears to be quite infectious. Healthcare workers are at especially high risk, and we urgently need information about just how infectious the virus is. The virus might well be impossible to contain, just as the common cold and influenza can't be stopped, but the health and social impacts can be blunted. China's extraordinary efforts to stop the spread of the virus, even if un unsuccessful, may slow its spread and improve China in the world's ability to limit the harm the virus causes. So what we need to know now, we must protect healthcare workers and other who care for sick people. This is done through a hierarchy of controls, source engineering, administrative, and personal. Source controls include encouraging patients who are only mildly ill to not expose others requiring all people who are ill to wear face masks, limiting the hospital attendance by visitors who may be infectious, ensuring that ill health care workers don't work, and minimizing the number and ensuring the safety of risk procedures such as bronchoscopy, the sputum in in induction, and by performing them only in isolation rooms. Engineering controls even, I mean, including putting uh, partitions in triage areas, making sure potentially contaminated air is not recirculated and surfaces are cleaned meticulously, and implementing additional precautions for suspected cases. Administrative controls, including all patients if they have symptoms and taking their temperatures, requiring those to wear co that with coughs or fevers to wear a face mask, and isolating them from others at least from several feet until they are more thoroughly assessed. It's especially important to recognize all potentially infectious patients quickly and implement strict infection control procedures and early in all areas of the healthcare facilities. And then there's personal controls, include hand washing and respiratory hygiene, but mask use is the general public. 
people without symptoms who are not caring for others has little or no benefit potentially great harm if people who need masks can't get them masks will be in short supply the most important use for healthcare workers and those caring for ill patients in healthcare settings safety reusable respiratory protection that can be disinfected it can crucially be important and the useful products include personal air purifying devices elastomeric respirators patients must also be able to cover their mouths and to reduce the spread of infection so what more so what more do we need to know we are learning more but unfortunately the answer is a lot china has been working hard to keep up with the testing care and social impacts of the virus it's good to see crucial epidemiological information starting to emerge we still don't know what the basics are and who's been tested, but the proportion are positive. And how is this changing over time and what the positivity rates are by location, the week of testing and patient age? This is basic information. As just one example, how many children have been tested? Does the fact that there have been a few infections in children reflect the lack of testing or lack of infection? Among those who test positive, what proportion do and don't develop severe disease? Analyzed by age, sex, underlying medical conditions. What proportion die? We analyze the same factors. Among all patients using the selected health facilities in Wuhan and elsewhere, what proportion of those with a cough have infection is confirmed by polymerase, chain reaction, PCR testing, this uh, swab samples, and what proportion of those without a cough have novel of noble or coronavirus infection confirmed by PCR testing? The answers to these questions will help determine whether the virus is already circulating widely. So example has he has has the endemic and can't be stopped and what proportion of all with infection have serious illness and whether the epidemic is peaking or not so this is very interesting so what so so there's trying to say you know who's getting infected what how are they getting affected but also are they affecting others and what is different about is this an individual thing is it from younger children or how are people getting it and when they get it is there certain reactions to them that can't be others if the people that are dying you know how why are, why are they dying from it and why are some living there's so many questions that need to be answered so where is the noble coronavirus going next and only time will tell the next few days and weeks will determine if sustained transmission begins in other countries which unfortunately seems likely if it does whether it can be contained which unfortunately seems unlikely how severe the illness is among those who are infected which we still don't know until we know this critical information we won't be able to assess how bad this noble coronavirus is going to get in which control measures have the best chance of slowing speed so there's a lot there's a lot here I definitely think this is a very important article I'm glad that uh, I found this usually I do go over you know precious metal stuff or what's happening in the economy whether it's US China trade negotiations the Iran you know the possible war with Iran stuff like that but the Hong Kong protests but this is this is serious and I definitely think that people need to be informed whether i mean time will tell how severe this is obviously whether it's on the uh whether it's on the front burner of our problems even like me living in the united states if this is i know there's cases in washington i know it's spreading it's usually doubling the amount of of infected like every single day so if this cannot be stopped if they cannot put this on the back burner or find some type of cure then this could be a very very serious thing now to what extent that's still what we don't know we don't know how it's spreading we know that the, the like this 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 is the scary part this this first thing right here 41 percent of the first 138 patients diagnosed at one hospital were presumed to be infected that means it's it's in it's it's infected within itself which means it grows extremely rapidly and it spreads extremely rapidly from those who are exposed to it and that's the scary part that no so that no nosocomial transmission that's scary stuff because hospitals are where people are going that are infected with it and then if they're infecting more people in those hospitals and those people go out i mean and then the healthcare workers that see people that could potentially be sick you I mean there's so there's so much going on but i'm curious what you guys think about 
about this? Do you think that this is serious? How do you think this is going to be affecting the economy with the stock market, precious metals, real estate? What is this go or is that stuff irrelevant? It's it's interesting how everything kind of came full circle as it was hurting markets. I mean, I'm an investor in myself. This this channel is focused more about precious metals, but this stuff is still news and it's very relevant, very important news that needs to be talked about. The link to this article will be in the description if you want to check it out yourself. Once again, like I said, and if there is a video that talks about that talks about what you need to know about the coronavirus, it's 2 minutes and 29 seconds long. It will be in the link that you click on if you do want to click on the link to to check this article out. Usually I try to make I try to highlight the main parts of the articles and make my videos in a timely manner. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button make sure you subscribe for new because i do post daily videos thanks for tuning in this was silver slayer i'll see you guys soon peace